and Haitians living and working in the Dominican Republic are living in a difficult situation due to the biased behaviors and mass arrests. Our collaborator, Danny Shaw, has the details on site. Right now we're in Haiti, Chiquito, in the Dominican capital of Santo Domingo. We've tried to talk to different Haitian workers about the ongoing and increasingly difficult situation with Dominican migration. They've said that morning, afternoon, night, it doesn't matter what time, Dominican authorities are sweeping through, picking up Haitians. Um, they've targeted pregnant Haitian women. They've targeted Haitian women who have recently given birth to be taken to uh, La Vacacional de Jaina, which is one of the immigration jails here in DR, before they're deported. Uh, many times there's a lot of human rights abuses. Haitians uh, have talked to me in Creole for the past few days, but they're also afraid of being on camera for obvious reasons. It's sad that they can't articulate in their own words uh, their experience. So this is where many Haitian laborers come to sell their produce, to survive. Uh, this is the center of the Haitian migrant community. Um, the human rights abuses that aren't just from the past few days, but years and, and, and decades in the Dominican Republic, if a Haitian woman is sexually abused, she doesn't have the right to go to any authority to complain, especially if it's a, uh, a Dominican uh, assailant who's hurt her. The Dominican authorities can come, they can steal these flowers, they can steal uh, the sugar cane, whatever they're selling, and what can the Haitian people do? So the Haitian community here in IT Chiquito wants to get the word out, though they themselves don't feel capable of coming on camera. We'll take a short break now.